Babies. Oh, lads, that was such a troll, man. Musiala! First spin for the win. Musiala! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. Today, we're taking a look at the attacking midfielder, Maestro. Maestro? Maestro. Musiala. We're going to be comparing him against Cruyff and other attacking midfielders. We're going to be showing you the best build. Also, the best player skills to give him, the additional skills. And, of course, we're going to be showing you gameplay clips, breaking it down, what formation he suits, does he suit your play style, couple of tips and tricks as well from playing with him in the live stream. Let's get straight into it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. So attacking midfielders are so important once you get the ball at their feet in these positions. And this is what Musiala does best. Any of these cards that you have, you need to give in to their strengths and you need to play to their strengths because they do have a couple of weaknesses. But that's what you see there with the tight dribbling, the tight possession, the tight balance. Not the strongest on the ball. You're going to see here, obviously this is a game mechanic issue rather than, you know, him being a weak player. Obviously he just gets bullied off the ball there from Makalele. That's a collision system. But he's back on the kind of prowl trying to get back busting the gut and this is what he'll naturally do just to cover areas so a whole player was like a box to box um but not as defensive he will only go so far now this clip is probably my favorite clip of all right this shows Musiala doing exactly what an attacking midfielder should be doing it doesn't matter your skill level this is also vital for anybody even starting off or if you're top 15 to world left foot beautiful ball in here from just a couple of touches then he's going to make that killer run into that space and that's going to be rounded off with a beautiful first time pass even though we don't have one touch pass with the player skills added yet for a simple tap in beautiful so look, a lot of it's going to come down to how it feels to play with Musiala. I think that they've changed a little bit to the dribbling and the passing. So I do feel like the build, which we'll get into in a little bit, is going to be very important for Musiala. If you're looking for a try before you buy, Song Krasen is a great example. Even though they have different heights, they're slightly different players, they will function the same with the runs that they make. How you're, you know, what you're going to be looking at from that attacking midfielder position if you're using Musiala. And then, as you saw, it's all about his feet, man. He's so slick, so smooth on the ball. He's like Michael Jackson doing the moonwalk sometimes. He's just so hard to stop. He can shoot, he can pass. He's got brilliant skills when you train him up a little bit, which we'll also get into. But we have some more clips here. I do feel Sankrasen is a really good free alternative just to jump in there at this point in the video. But Musiala is very, very, very silky, lads, as you will see here in a second. And we're going to compare him against some of the best AMFs also. So, yeah. And you'll see loads of clips like this, lads. The runs he makes are really, really nice. The position he picks up are really nice. You see here, Kante has my box-to-box -box getting into that position. But there's Musiala kind of hovering in that whole player, kind of in as that striker while not playing as an SS. That's always important if you're looking to create gaps. I think DMF is a hugely important position, but I think AMF with the current meta, if you can get on top of that position and dominate your opponent, such as this off running, uh, you know, running from right to left, even though he's playing in a central position because of Salah's position in here. And when we roll this on, Musiala is going to get a lovely little ball back, one touch and then right foot. And a lot of these passes are intercepted now. But Musiala is a really, really nice passer of the ball, even though with this build, we don't have insanely good passing skills on it. And it's a nice finish from Salah, simple little blitz curler, but it opens up because of Musiala and the danger that he poses. Now, we have actually trained up Musiala slightly different since this video, right? So we were testing out a couple of builds. We did test out a build from El Presidente. But all you need to know, lads, simply put, is that you want to be playing Musiala in these positions. This little circle here or box here, he can play SS. So there's no point putting him SS. And I ob obviously don't think that you should, play, you should play him on the left as well. Unless you're cutting in and using him like uh, Neymar. This is the build that you saw of all the clips here. I've made a couple of tweaks to this. And I've given you two options at the end of the video. In about three minutes towards the end of the video. We will have the ultimate two builds for him. One a complete all-rounder. And then the other kind of more of an assassin. An attacking midfielder super sub. Which feeds into this card's really, really high strengths of coming off the bench. If you have the luxury of doing that. So again, you see this intricate passing, runs, first time finish, first time pass. It's beautiful. Any of these cards that you have here, Cruyff, any of these cards will do a similar job for you. But Musiala, I just feel like he's very nimble. I can't really get on with Johan Cruyff at the moment at all, lads. I just don't fit well with his style. I think there's something about him. I don't know what it is, his dribbling motion or something. But Musiala is just silk, man. He's so silky on the ball. You can see the similar stats there that they are going to have a lot of similarities as a whole player. Now, the one question I will get asked, and I am working on a video of it, 
is whole player versus creative playmakers. You see the comparison here between the free to play Songkrasen. This guy's a really good player. Yes, he's short. I mean, he's he's way shorter than Musiala in that position, but he's down as a creative playmaker. Now, again, I see a lot of people overcomplicate when they're doing and talking about things, and I see a lot of people complicate things when they ask me questions where they have some, you know, thing in their head about player ID and that they won't make runs and won't track runs. Simply put, lads, a whole player will fit into that position right outside the box. Creative playmaker will look to kind of go a little bit deeper every now and again as well. Now, even when you compare him to his old, old Musiala creative playmaker card here, one is a whole player, which is the new one that we have, and the other is a creative playmaker. So the strengths that Musiala has now, I'm going to get into right here. But don't worry too much about the play styles. The same way as don't worry too much about the stats, if you vary it a little bit. So this is what Musiala is good at, right? Dribble king, easy pass and move player to play with. Very, very pick up and play. Excellent space, and you saw all the clips here where he's literally moving into positions without me having any input. That means that it's opening up chances that my AI defender or my AI opponent or my... Def my defense can't react to or my opponent's defense can't react to either way he can play ss and he needs one touch pass and free to play amfs are similar so i don't know if it's worth spinning if you are light on coins but yeah there's no doubt about it man creatively he can do it all he can pass he can shoot these are the player skills that i actually did end up trying to give him but it went disastrously wrong but one touch pass way to pass low lofted pass outside curler and flip flap any of these, depending on your play style. Don't just follow me and say that like, oh, one touch pass is a must. If you play him as a just a shoot first centric guy, you won't really need low lofted pass or flip flap if you don't do a lot of dribbles. The first build that we have is going to be a shoot and attack a midfielder. Now, this guy is just a killer assassin. He's kind of like a three point shooter in NBA. That is what you want. A very specialist player. Bring him on because he's got super sub as his player skill. Bring him on. 10 shooting, 7 passing, 6 dribble and 9 dexterity and 9 lower, lower body strength. I think this is probably the build I will go for um, with just maybe maybe a little bit of testing here or there because I do feel like that you do need to decide fairly early that if you want to boost up uh, Musiala's passing you have to kind of boost it up fairly high right so we five more gone into passing here for 12 I don't know if it's worth putting, pumping all the, the points into that shooting five dribbling dexterity lower body strength he's an all-rounder he can play anywhere across that front attack and midfielder position he can play as part of a you know a single uh system attack and midfielder or he can play with two other attack and midfielders he can have a free reign role he can get back and defend it does depend on how you play and what system you're playing i would recommend and re recommend him as my only attack and midfielder to be able to have a lot of license to roam okay but it's up to you guys. Let me know what you guys think. It's an in-depth review of Musiala with skills, training guide, and two builds, and of course, clips as we break it down. I will be back very, very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you in a bit. Let me know if you spun for Musiala. I'm interested to know that people actually go for him.